The importance of eating veggies is always underrated. Now, Cindy Chin, Woolworths resident dietitian, is joining us in the Espresso Kitchen to tell us more about the importance of fruits and veggies in our diet and also to help us prepare a delicious vegetable-rich meal with our Zozo. And when I say vegetable-rich, I mean we have a plethora, a <laughs> smorgasbord, we're going to call it a veggie. Cindy, awesome to have you join us. Thank you for bringing such beautiful, colourful. We're going to get into the colour of our mm. veggies because I know that's important, not just from eating with your eyes, but vegetables in general. Why are they so important in our diets? I think everyone knows that they need to include vegetables every day, but it's good to be reminded why. And I think, you know, veggies are full of water and actually quite low in kilojoules. So oh. um, it's filling without uh, being detrimental to your kilojoule intake. And also they're full of fibre and packed full of vitamins, minerals and what we call phytonutrients, which sound a bit weird, but they're actually like plant chemicals that give the vegetables their vibrant colours. And uh -huh. we know from a lot of uh, scientific research that that's associated with um, actually lowering chronic diseases, like things like diabetes, high blood pressure. There's a strong association between eating more veggies and low incidence of those types uh, of diseases. And so I was looking at this food saying, yeah, whatever. It's about <laughs> having more colour in your salad and making it look more beautiful. And that, that really is a great kind of indication of what vegetables we should be taking into our diet, mm. judging by the variety of that colour. So what, what are the real heroes? What should we be including in our diet that we often don't? I think that's that's the key. It's actually not about just focusing on kale or on one specific like trendy vegetable. Yeah. Even your humble cabbage is really good. So the importance is variety and colour as well, because then you know you're getting a variety. And not only that, but also the way you prepare it. So instead of only eating raw or only eating cooked, vary it. So sometimes steam, sometimes roast, sometimes um, boil, whatever it is, but just variety is, the, is, the, is really the key. What are some of the standout ways, your kind of go-to options for getting more green, getting more vegetables into our diet? Make it easy for yourself and make it become habitual so that it's not such a big schlep to get yeah. to, to eating these veggies. And we've got lots of convenient formats that we use and also just new, new and exciting ways to eat vegetables. So like spaghetti noodles are a really say, great way. That is amazing. And amazing. kids love it as well. I mean, my kids that don't normally eat courgettes when I slice them up will eat them in the uh, ribbon form. So, mm -hmm. so make it easy, make it visually appealing and like keep them in the fridge so that they're ready with a nice dip like a hummus or something like that. So it becomes mm. natural and easy to, to eat and it becomes your almost your point of default rather than defaulting to the pantry for other snacks. Yeah, and just blast them. a few in a smoothie. You can exactly. get them in there, you know, and you don't have to always go to kale. You can use your humble cabbage as well. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making, Zoe? Okay, so I like what Cindy said about variety and colour because it's always beautiful when we were, pre were preparing a meal, but also the way that you cook it, like mm. you said. So um, using healthier methods. So um, as South Africans, we love to add sugar to our vegetables. So, you know, sweet pumpkin or sweet, um, sweet potato. Um, so instead of using those sort of things and adding sugar, why not bring out the best of the vegetable and cook them in like a really healthy way? So I'm going to take the asparagus. I'm going to just, oopsie, <laughs> make a mess first. It's nice and rustic. I like <laughs> it too. Just a little with some olive oil. Just a little bit of olive oil goes a long way, especially with the griddle pan. Um, and I always oil the vegetable and not the griddle pan itself. And then just pop these in here and they'll char and they'll still keep their texture, which is really lovely. Then we're gonna blanch some as well, which is really great for green veg. So you can choose a green veg for us there. Okay. Um, I, I, so basically just I know some, we should be having more broccoli. Some I'm just boiling water, broccoli. salted, we, and then we'll we take, good I'll choice, Thank good you. choice. And with green veg, it brings out the color, mm. um, which makes them look really beautiful. So I'm just gonna put a handful into some salted boiling water and these will take about 30 seconds and they'll be ready to go. Okay, so, so that's then... that's the key, we're not boiling it, we're blanching it. We're blanching. Quick in and out, boom. Quick in oh. and out, still crunchy, still bright. Okay, okay. so then we're going to do a dressing, um, and in the dressing is some ground ginger, or, or grated ginger, quite cavalier some garlic. I'm just waiting for ginger and, <laughs> and garlic to fly across no, no, my no, face. No. Very um, and some cavalier. chili, which is really great. And then some sesame oil, which is very flavorful. Ooh, yum. Um, this is a bit of rice wine vinegar. Okay, and then a bit of fish sauce for some seasoning. And then what I've done is taken some limes and popped them in the griddle pan with the um, asparagus. Cindy, if you will squeeze mm. those in there yeah. for me. And then whisk it up. And then we've got a choice of different vegetables. Why, why go with the, the limes done like this? Why char them and what does that do to the flavour? Because like I said, we like a bit of sweetness in our mm. vegetables. Um, charring the limes brings out the natural sweetness in the limes. It. So you don't cool. have to add extra sugar. Very okay. Clever. So then we're going to start assembling the salad. So I'm going to pop some, um, these are rice noodles that we've just um, sort of soaked in some hot water. Okay. Much then lighter we, as well. We've taken some like. carrots, which you can have raw and grate them up mm. or you can blanch these. 
What I love is that the beta carotene effect is that when you actually cook uh, orange veggies, you actually uh, make it more available to absorb. Oh, wow. And adding a bit of oil also makes it a bit more bioavailable. I know coriander is not your favorite, but it's really great in the it's salad. Beautiful. Okay, uh, and I'll some mint for some freshness. Today. Okay, and then Cindy, you will you toss that? And then you you, you talked about the cup, the humble cabbage earlier. It doesn't look so humble when it's, it's all purple, shocking. When it's never purple, humble. isn't it beautiful? I'm gonna toss the dressing over. And you don't need much because it's so flavorful. So toss those together. And look at that, it's really it's bright, really colorful, um, all the different textures, all the different nutrients you're getting in. So you're winning at all costs here. Um, and it smells amazing. Doesn't it doesn't it? smell like an overcooked, overboiled plate of vegetables. This looks fresh, it looks crunchy, it's vibrant. It looks absolutely amazing. So ladies, thank you so, so much. We've taken in a huge amount of information. Hopefully this has inspired you at home to think a bit more out of the box when you're approaching getting vegetables into your diet. Um, make them vibrant, eat with your eyes first, but make sure that you're not losing any of those unbelievable nutrients involved. Where should I start? Anywhere you like, I'm grab gonna, something. I'm just going to use my yeah, hands and grab a, an asparagus. Yeah.